me ask you guys this, right? Do you think that it's okay for a woman to entertain DMs while she's in a relationship? Like, in the most part, I think that having social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, Instagram for me, I think it's more, it's, it's, it's used for finding dates. It's used for dating, right? Facebook, I think is somewhat, you can use it more for business, but I think Instagram is a place where you, you dive into if you're trying to find someone to, to, to take you on a date, right? That's the way I see it. So if you are in a relationship with a woman, would you allow her to entertain DMs? Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to play you this clip right here. I, I mean, I might think to myself, like, this person seems like a nice person, seems like a good catch. Yeah, he's kind of cute. I don't necessarily think further than that, though, because I'm already in a relationship. Okay, so I'm not necessarily plotting to be with that person, especially if I'm in a relationship where I really like the person. Look, wherever you go, is going to be somebody that look good. It might be somebody that look better than who you with. It might be somebody who seems like the grass is greener. That don't mean the grass is greener. But can we be honest, though? Can we be honest that, like, even when you're in a relationship, you might entertain people in your DMs, but it really don't mean that this is Yes, like, like, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't like, mean it's I'm little... going to cheat with you. It doesn't mean I want to cheat, but I don't oh. feel like... I don't feel like people are, <laughs> like, transparent about that. I feel like y'all entertain DMs. I entertain DMs. But I respect you enough. But why? <laughs> why are you that insecure to entertain DMs? Like, what are you looking for? For them to say the right thing? To make you, to entice you? Or to, what are you looking for? Why are you entertaining DMs? Why are you entertaining people that you don't know in real life right <laughs> because it, it's it's wild for for this for, for people to say they want stable relationships where they can feel safe where you can feel like you are wanted you are appreciated but you are out here entertaining dms behind my back <laughs> Right, because I, I doubt this woman would be like saying, say, would say this to, to to a boyfriend or a husband. Right, look, I'm so this guy saying this. I like what he said. I'm gonna reply to him right now. Like, you're never gonna say that. You're gonna hide this. You're gonna go in the bathroom, and and sneak in there and and, and talk to this reply to the DMs. So subconsciously, you know you're doing the wrong thing. Consciously, you know you're doing the wrong thing. So why are you doing it? Why are you in a relationship then? You can't want a stable relationship and then do something like that. That that makes no sense to me. I you enough not to make it go past this. I had a conversation with a guy. He said, and I never thought about it like this. Mm. When you have a woman and she's your wife, mm. there's certain things you just don't want to do sexually to her, a path you don't want to go down with her. Yeah. Mm. And so therefore you'd rather go down those things with somebody else and fulfill those needs somewhere else. Yeah. Is this something you've ever like experienced or can relate to? Yes. Oh wait, wait, wait. Before he goes before he goes any further, you know what came to my mind? I was <laughs> I was thinking of like you know what R. Kelly does <laughs> with with the girls. That's what I was I was thinking. Like, is is that a sort of thing that she's talking about that you don't want to do with your wife, right? Is, is that a sort of thing that that, she, that she's she's talking about? Because yeah, that might be that might be outrageous, but I don't think that is. I don't think there aren't men and women that that do that don't do that just because they're married if they're into such a thing they will do it with their partners right it just depends what you're into right so what it's to do with is the more a man loves and cares about women the harder it is for him to sexually objectify her now that doesn't mean mm. he doesn't want to do those things mm. but because he cares and loves her he doesn't want to treat her like a porn star it's easier mm. for him to objectify women he doesn't care about. i see this video with the scroll that wait, goes wait, wait. Viral, hold up i want to go back i want to go back loves and cares about women experience or can relate to yes yeah, so
can just fulfill those needs somewhere else. Yeah. Is this something you've ever like experienced or can relate to? Yeah, so what it's to do with is the more a man loves and cares about women, mm. the harder it is for him to sexually objectify her. Now that doesn't mean he doesn't want to do those things, mm. but because he cares and loves her, he doesn't want to treat her like a porn star. It's easier for him to objectify women. Nah, um, <laughs> maybe that, I, may, I don't know, maybe I'm, I, maybe I'm different. The way I look at it is this, right? Um, as as peoples, as men and women, we have to be authentic in who we are all the time, right? If this is the sort of things that I like, I'm going to try with my wife, see if she likes it. If she doesn't like it, all right, then that's that's not that's not something we can do, right? If if we if if she doesn't like it, then she doesn't like it, but. If I can't do the things that I enjoy doing with my wife, then who am I going to do them with? Right? I don't care about objectifying. Like we're doing something that is sexual between a, a couple, a husband and a wife, or you're in a relationship with someone, right? This, you can't live pretending that I don't like this. I don't like that. Because that is part of a problem. Why you're not even able to satisfy the woman that you're with in the first place. Because you're projecting. You're thinking she might not like that. How do you know? <laughs> you, you've, you've not tried it. You don't know that you, you might. And especially in today's modern society. Where women have been with multiple partners. You don't even know what, what she's into. You don't even know what she likes. Unless you ask her and talk to her about those things, you would never know what she's into. And you might be surprised that your wife is a freak, right? <laughs> Just because you are thinking, ah, I don't want to do that with her. I don't want to, I don't want to objectify her sexually and, and I want to be a gentleman and all the stuff. Listen, you got to be yourself in your relationship. Your wife might appreciate that, right? Because that's why that's why people cheat because you're not satisfied you're not satisfied at home so you're looking you're constantly looking for something outside to fill a void right something you're not getting at home what possibly you could have gotten it at home but you're stopping yourself from getting that that's 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 sad this girl that goes viral and this girl starts off saying you know my body count is 500. I wonder what other Damn. people's body count is. And then this girl reacts to it in the most incredible way that can sum up pretty much today's entire episode. So my body count is 500 and it got me thinking, what is the average person's? Mm. Like, <laughs> I'd be right up there with you, girl, except my dad kept saying this stupid phrase throughout my childhood. It was so redundant. What was it? Oh, I love you. Pretty simple phrase. Yeah. Right? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? I the felt girl, it. 500. God knows the relationship with her and her father. The other one is saying, my dad gave me love. I got the yeah. love at the house. I got what I needed at the house. I don't need to put myself in bad situation. I think the only way, you know what? I, I, let me, <laughs> let me put myself out there. So when I was younger, I didn't have a, a, a great relationship with my dad. I, you know, I didn't have a good relationship with my dad at all. And um, I, I, I guess I despised him, right? Cause I, I didn't feel like he cared about me. So for the most part, when I was younger, I found comfort in women outside. <laughs> so th this was something that I did for a long time until I found myself, basically, right? Be but I, I was always looking for reassurance outside from, from women. And that was just daddy issues. <laughs> that was just me having daddy issues. So for women too, it's the same thing. Right, it's the same thing. Like most of these women that are promiscuous and sleeping around, if you ask them about their relationship with the fathers, you find out that there was a disconnect somewhere, right? And they're just looking for comfort from outside, someone to tell them that they look beautiful, and they, they interpret physical physical uh, connections like you know sex to love when it's just look a man will bust it down and and tear it apart just to just just to do so it has nothing to do with love right but a lot of these women don't understand that that it's it, it's just physical right so they give it up so easily they give it up to any man that comes over and say hey beautiful 
right? Not realizing that it's, it's, it's just a game. Women who get lucky are the women who are raised by two parents who have good fathers who protected them when they were younger and they're not as jaded as women who did not have a father growing up and were not protected because you grow up in two different ways. So when you're when you're sheltered and protected by your father, you're more feminine. You're more you're you believe more, more in love. Yeah, and you, now you're looking for a man who's similar to your dad. If you didn't have a dad, you're not looking for anything that's similar to you. You don't even know what the fuck you're looking for. You don't even know what you're supposed to be looking for because nobody told you. But when you have a good dad who, who who works and is good to your mom and all this stuff, then you have an example of, oh, this guy's garbage. Why is he asking me to pay half the bill at fucking dinner? <laughs> Can I ask a question about kids? Yeah. <laughs> What's your feelings on this? In my uh -huh. 20s, I would have said, absolutely must have kids. I mm. want them. At 30, I started questioning if that was just something that society's told me that I've wanted. Mm. I, there's not a lot of men I meet that I think they'd be great fathers. Mm. And so I, I kind of don't have that instinct to like procreate with them because I'm like, oh, I don't know if this would be an equal parenting relationship. Wait, wait, wait. My Let's mom, go back a little uh, bit. had like a, was just something that society's told me that I've wanted. I, there's not a lot of men I meet that I think they'd be great fathers. There's not a lot of men that she meets that she thinks will be great fathers. Where are you meeting this man? Right? <laughs> Where are you meeting this man? And what what kind of men are these that, that you you don't think that they'll be great fathers? Maybe that's the problem, is where you're looking at the get finding this man. Right? If I'm going to the club. I won't even know. I won't even know if a woman's gonna be a great wife if she's twerking on me, right? There's no way I can know that. <laughs> I would if I'm if I'm at the club. I would know if she'd be a good if she'd be a good entertainment for the night, but I would not know if she's gonna be a great mother. You know what I mean? So where are you meeting this man that is make that is discouraging you from thinking that? I don't want to have any more kids, but I, I have a theory about what she's talking about right here, because in, the, in her twenties, she wanted to have kids. It was a must for her. But as she got into her thirties, she's now thinking, well, I don't even need this anymore. That's because she's getting older. She's get she knows she's getting older. So she's now convincing herself that, ah, I don't really need it anyways. And, on top of that, the man she's finding on, no, 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 they will never be great fathers. So she's convincing herself out of the, the market to be a mother or to have a kid or to be a wife. She's trying to convince herself, herself of that, that she doesn't even need these things anyways. But when she was in a, her clear mind in the 20s and when she should have pursued having a, a, a stable relationship, she didn't, right? Now she's now she's it's too late. Might be too late. I don't know if it's too late for her. I don't know how she old, how old she is. So I I kind of don't have that instinct to like procreate with them because I'm like oh I don't know if this would be an equal parenting relationship. My mom. Uh, it's never had, like, equal. A very Britney Spears moment where she just like shaved her head. She was raising all three of us. My dad was in Afghanistan for like a six months tour. Understandably, she had a little mentee B. You know, she had a little mental breakdown. Mm. Shaved her head one night. Was super drunk, screaming, crying. And she was like, she grabbed me by the shoulders and she was like, don't have kids. Don't make the mistake I did. Have a career, be someone. Mm. Have a career, be someone. A career is what makes you become someone. So all the, all the great mothers out there with families, taking care of the kids, watching them grow, watching them to become responsible adults, or her taking care of her husband, telling him, I love you, and see you later, and he's doing the same thing to her. That is not something. That is not being becoming someone. I think this is where we 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 have to know when mothers and parents are detrimental to our success, to our lives. And we gotta filter what they say to us. Right? If your mother has gone through life being a wife, and maybe she wasn't even a good wife, she had a Britney Spears moment. I mean, I'm not going to put her down for that. 
because she had a mental breakdown. But, you know, just going through life the way that she did, maybe she she's she that regret is for her because she's she wants she wanted to do more with her life. She's not appreciating what she has. Doesn't mean that that is what you should do as well. Right? Because life is different for everybody. Right? Life is the way we see life is different for most for, for most people. And it's supposed to be that way. So, this is the perfect example of of why we need to filter when our parents give us the wrong information. We need to filter Right, but let me know what your thoughts are on this video right here. You know, would you allow your wife or girlfriend to reply DMs and talk to people in her DMs? Would you still be in a relationship with her? Huh? And yeah, let, let's talk about it. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy and peace out.